Halfpenny, more of Malcolm and Lee Halfpenny on the Get Inspired website, bbc.co.uk forward slash Get Inspired. Also, plenty of information there about how you can get playing at your local club. It could be you kicking the British and Irish Lions to glory 20 years from now. You could be the next Lee Halfpenny. And Ryan, what more is there to say about Lee Halfpenny? An incredible competitor when he's on this pitch. Yeah, he's a wonderful, wonderful rugby player, Chase. You know, and from a, from a captain or even a teammate's point of view, knowing when you're walking down a tunnel, into a field, into an arena like this, with a player that the rest of the rugby world would give their left arm to have in their team, is a huge, huge asset. We went through it with a, a generation ago when Shane Williams was with, with us, and now we've got a very old match winner in Lee Halfpenny. You have now got young kids playing rugby union in Wales wanted to be the next Lee Halfpenny. He is the most down to earth, and that's what I like about him more than anything about his rugby. He's the most down to earth superstar, and he is a superstar. He can't go anywhere in Wales, and he's, he's, he still works as hard as he ever has. He's just an unbelievable role model. Carlo, you've been in that Italian side. What's it like when you have this team huddle waiting for this stadium to erupt? You know, once you walk down the tunnel, you don't need to realize the atmosphere that's, expect, that, that, that's waiting for you as, as, you get, as you get out. I mean, you look at it as soon as you feel the, you feel the heat of the pyrotechnics and you hear the stadium erupt, and it just you actually realize you're going to be in for a battle. Well, I don't know where you're watching this rugby match today, but I can tell you the atmosphere here in the Millennium Stadium is just incredible. And Ryan, you've been in this position many, many times. Alan Wynne Jones, the captain of Wales today. What's this like when you walk the tunnel into 72,000 people, Ryan? They'll be coming out the chain rooms now with, with a thunderous noise of footsteps above them. You come down a tunnel, Halloween will be out first, and he'll be faced by, with a wall of noise, a wall of colour, and a wall of expectation. And the pyrotechnics go off. Physically, you're on edge, your heart rate's bumped in. And fireworks are going off. Emotionally and psychological, Jace, we're on a real, real edge now. And this is business time. These guys are ready for battle now. Turn up your volume, listen to this. success they want it again yeah they are they're expecting this they're expecting a comfortable win but you never write off the italians when they've done the past so this is going to be a tough game right you may be able to see the italian players are wearing black armbands it's been a week of tragedy for italian rugby felipe cantone an under 20 academy player died in a car crash last saturday many of his teammates were playing in the under 26 nations last night in a separate tragedy an italian board member roberto bessio who was in charge of the under 20 azuri team also died this week of a heart attack so the Italians are wearing black armbands. There will be a minute silence here today in memory of Filippo and Roberto. It has been a week of tragedy for Italian rugby, and they will now be remembered here at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, the home of the defending champions. Immaculately observed from this crowd here in the Millennium Stadium. Here we go. The Six Nations start here. Here come the anthems.
nation two great anthems wonderful atmosphere two of the most rousing anthems you will hear during this wonderful rugby union tournament the stage is set france v england to come but here in cardiff it's wales v italy let's join our match commentators jonathan davis and good afternoon to andrew cotter it's good afternoon for now at least welsh players supporters and uh, rugby as a whole in this part of the world come together in loud and passionate harmony, forgetting about the storm outside above the roof. There is the uh, forward pack for Wales in this one. What a team it is today. Just a couple of understudies in the forwards. Paul James at loose head with the recently fit again. Gethin Jenkins given a week more. Luke Charlton and Starks in the second row. Alongside captain Alan Wynne Jones. But that back row of Lydia Tipperick and Fallatow hardly diminished by the absence of Warburton. And it's a back line near full strength, centre Scott Williams would push a fit Jonathan Davis for his place. Fly half perhaps the only uncertain position, Rhys Priestland gets the nod today. But North Cuthbert's halfpenny make up a back three that will be very, very hard to contain. For Italy it's a tale of two groups, a massively experienced pack lock. Marco Bortolami reaches 100 caps and is still behind tight head caster Giovanni and captain Parisi at number 8. And Feisty Bergamasco is back at open side flanker. But then the back line, three 20 year olds starting today. Outside centre, Michele Campagnaro, Angelo Esposito making his debut on the wing, and Tony Tommaso Allen at a fly half the latest to try to give Italy a touch of class at number 10. We'll run through the replacement shortly. This is the Come referee on, from Ireland, John Lacey, in the 2014 RBS Six Nations is underway. And instantly the take. From the captain for Wales, Alan Wynne Jones. Once he's captained no. this side before, back in 2008 against Italy. He's captain the Lions, of course. And you think about that third test against Australia in the summer, and nine of this Welsh lineup here started that match against Australia for the Lions. That is the calibre that Italy faced, but Castro Giovanni oh. carries it in. And Parisi, they are always there. It was Giraldini, a very experienced man in the pack, the hooker. This is the most experienced international pack ever to grace a rugby field. In terms of caps. With the first continuity. No. No. The plane takes it in. And he's defending ably enough at the moment. Michele Campagnaro is one of the 20 year olds and Still with the Italians, a few Zuri fans around us. The link is provided by Castro Giovanni. The Welsh fans respond. Parisi is there. Moves out there! Oh, Still with Italy. Eduardo Gori once again. Fed on by Bortolami out to Alberto Scarbi. The 11 phases, but to in the penalty for Wales. Yeah, not much penetration there by the Italians. And uh, Falata gets over the ball and uh, gets the penalty. But it'll be interesting to see how the halfbacks, the Italian halfbacks, Tommaso Allen and, uh, and Gori go because they are in transitional period. They want to play a little bit more expansive and they're going to be crucial. Their input will be crucial. There's the penalty. Being cleared out. It would be interesting to see a Wales play as well, Andrew, because you know the debate at number ten, Priestland or Bigger. Bigger's been playing well, but I just think that uh, Priestland had the nod. They want to play a little bit more heads up, a little bit, a little bit more expansive. And as I said earlier, the difference in physique between the Welsh backline and the Italian backline is phenomenal. So that'll be the big question: Can they cope? Well, the Welsh line had nearly destructive, but it came back to Hibbard. Lund here flies over the halfway line. And done by Charteris. And there's Priestland giving it wide to Roberts back inside to oh. George North. Bounces one man aside. And carried on by Alan Wynne Jones, Castro Giovanni. Well held up by Giovanni, but is he going to go to ground? He's got to roll away. No. Ooh, the whistle went to. Leave it! Don't his mouth, but it's back yes, there for Wales attacker. now. Adam Jones comes in. And a little grubber through. And a lovely kick. Nicely placed on and missed! And it might be a chance! It's a gift! A gift for Alex Cuthbert! You cannot afford to give Wales chances like that. What a 
a mess it was, Esposito on the wing, it was a well-placed kick, but not that well-placed, Alex Cuthbert, dream start for Wales. Yeah, a lot of variety by Wales, you know, the, the dummy runner from Scott Williams was, you know, them on the outside, it's a lovely little kick, but this should be taken, right winger comes across and covers, Esposito, just a dreadful bounce, just watch, it's a lovely kick, but it's covered, this should be cleaned up, just mistimes it, misjudges the bounce, and Cuthbert is there. Oh, Esposito on his debut, his debut. Oof, he's still caught. looking for his first touch. <laughs> yeah, he should have had it. Yeah. But that's, that's a big, big mistake. You know, you've got to go down, you've got to get behind the ball. And Cuthbert, when he is around, he's a deadly finisher. A that's a poor start by the Italians. Worst start possible for them. Come into this game, Italy will have said, keep in touch, keep in touch with Wales for as long as possible, see if their nerves start to fray. Four minutes in, try for Wales, conversion attempt for Lee Halfpenny. On the tight angle for the right footer, it doesn't matter, and Wales have a, a seven point start in this game. Hey, uh, just to see once again, lovely little grubber. Mistake, try, simple as. It's almost as if he anticipated it just bouncing up nicely for him. And trundled low, Phillips. Williams gives it right to Jamie Roberts. Priestland. It's a very good oh. kick, well taken though. To my own, Tommaso Allen. And McLean. Yes. So half penny thumps it down there again, Eduardo Gori is from half waiting. As with Paris say, yep. captain alongside. Dangerous kick coming up here, but a very, very good one. And just over the head of Alex Cuthbert. Yeah. Now, he had the easy option just to take it in the 22 and bang it into touch, but he had a little look up and took the difficult option. A dangerous kick, but struck beautifully. These are the line starts from the Autumn Internationals. That's where they go to in the in the lineups. So let's see where Richard Hibbard's going to go here. It's interesting, you know, the front ball is the most difficult to attack from from a back line, but it's a safer ball. Yep, there it is. Down by Charteris and through Phillips and Falata was there, and in comes Roberts. Straight. And there's Cuthbert wide and George North. Building up ahead of Stephen George with a trip for himself to chase. Esposito is trying to get there. But the clearing kick in fact. <laughs> the ball is so nearly there for George North, but eventually coming across from the left wing was Leonardo Sarto. Again, a good covering by both Italian winners. It's okay, it's lovely. Sarto does exceptionally well to see the danger. He comes all the way across. Lovely click by George North. The variety is good, the lines of running. Four Welsh players. Scouting for that try, good play, good pass. A great cover by the, the blindside Italian winger. In position now, and he's great for Wales down goes. The ball as Alan Wynn Jones secured it at the line out. Uh, it's a good position, a lot of the Italian players have gone to ground. They've regrouped, they're in a great position. Let's see what the Welsh forwards can do now. Castro Giovanni arms out, Parisi as well. Tries to get in there and get it from the grasp of Mike Phillips. Well played, Parisi. Get in there looking for it. A good defence by Italy. That's very, very good play, Jeff the kick. Comes off the body and into the arms of Priestland. The first knock on there of Wales, so Italy have the scrum. You have to applaud their defence there. Yeah. I thought they were in they had big problems there. A lot of the Italian players had gone to ground, but they regrouped and just scrambled. Parise was in there. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 but again, good disruptive work by the Italians. Close, boys. Let's go. Close. This will be interesting, no? Yes. Scrum. Seconds. No, in the middle. Another they said. The Italian game was based on this. And, uh, for some reason, looks very, very weak last season. Stand up. Okay. You get in the slash, you open up your shoulder. Well, one okay? thing, Andrew. You've lasted longer this match than uh, last year's match. This time now you are in the gentleman's toilet oh, in Rome. Right. Too much information as the United <laughs> say today. Crouch! Good times. Good times. <laughs> Bind! Yep. Set! Look at that ball put in sharply there. It's stable for a moment. One thing about the scrum as well, Adam Jones has had to adjust. He was so good at getting the hit. Okay, the hit used no to be. push before the ball. No push. Important in the scrum, but of course there is no real no hit now. There's a tiny little hit, and I wonder if that's depowered the, the Italian forwards as well. It's a, it's a very different beast now, the scrum. Yeah, very different. And, um, yeah, Adam Jones has struggled to adjust a little bit, but. Um, this is the competition where you know, he'll step up to the mark again. Set. Head and shoulders won. Oh. Oh, enjoyed those scrums. Penalty to Italy. Head and shoulders up. Head and shoulders up is the instruction from John Lacey. One head and shoulders. And uh, Paul James is the man penalised. So McLean clears for Italy. Head and shoulders won. And the referee again just giving the instruction this time to Captain Alan Wynne Jones, who was asking what, what was wrong with that. And had a look at uh, Wales line out stats in the Autumn Internationals. There's Italy. That's it. go mostly to the no. to the middle. Long this time in the abbreviated line out. No. no. Away! What? Away! Away! Get the good rolling mall, and it is a good rolling mall. Side entry four. And a penalty coming to Italy as well. Charter is coming in at the side. Yeah, this penalty will give him field position. I think it'll be too far to go for goal. That's a very good drive by the Italian pack. Four entry. Yeah. So it's going to be a kick for touch by Luke McLean. That's a good one as well, yeah. into the 22 he'll go. Well, it steadied things a little bit after that frightening start. Yeah, they started well, the Italians. They just uh, won uh, defensive laps, one mistake. And they're seven points behind now. First opportunity, first real attacking opportunity, Shot short and line out. Big Masco, please in midfield. Taken down by Bortolami, quickly shipped out, and there is Alan now and Mauro Bergamasco straight into the defence. Vantage! And Six advantage again morning. to Italy. Yeah. Off your feet! And Dan Lydia was penalised there, still advantage to Italy. Giraldini. Yeah, it's a free play now, so they've got the penalty. Six that rolling. Well, he was rolling, but unfortunately he rolled right into the path of the scrum this half, so if, if it wasn't going to be a penalty, it made the decision a lot easier. Up so he makes the tackle, he's trying to roll away, he doesn't know which way to go. Four. Have a word. Yeah, it's slow. Well, it's going to be a fairly straightforward pop at goal for... Tommy Allen, Tommaso Allen. Sorts of players changing their names now. Lydia's infringement. We Talked about Allen's uh, heritage. John Allen, his uncle, played for Scotland and South Africa. Doing those days. He was the hooker, but uh, Tommaso, Tommy Allen played for under 17s, under 18s, under 20s for Scotland. But born in Vicenza to an Italian mother and Italy's latest fly half. Through it goes. And that's a, a good response from Italy because 
as could have been a, a horrible first 15 minutes, but just four points of tricks after that gift of a try. Yeah, they certainly play with a bit more wit, you know, with uh, the young 9 and 10. So Priestland gets us going again, goes long and Parisi lurking. There's the promise from Jacques the Italian coach that Italy are going to play more open rugby now, the clearing kick from Gori. That's why the roof is closed today. Both coaches have to agree to it, and the Italians said, that's fine, we'll have the roof closed well, as well. Well, the weather's been dreadful last month. Rain, 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 so... Thank God the roof has been closed. New pitch. Long, Faratau, good offload to Roberts. Hibbards direct into his opposite number, Giraldini. The pass is loose and uh, Cuthbert has to sweep it up. It's a turnover ball, is it? Well, they've done well. They've done very well to keep that. I thought he was isolated. Roberts again into Castro Giovanni and Bortolami. Well, they're a bit bunched at the moment, Wills. That's the last man there, Scott Williams, on the halfway line. Ron Priestland flips his head and goes himself. Good offload to Jimmy Roberts. Back it comes again, Phillips or Good play, Parise. Parise, wonderful disrupting. And Mauro Bergamasco looks outside and then goes himself. <laughs> Penalty to Italy. And uh, Wales not rolling away in the tackle. Well, that's a couple of times that Mike Phillips has been caught by Parise. Just watch, he goes in, road, yeah, he just takes that step and Parise comes round. There's only three men in the ruck, look, so it's very easy to come round. It's not a big, big ruck. The penalty is conceded, Wales in front in that start at the moment. And the penalty is conceded will give Italy good field position. Was Bergamasco. He made his debut for Italy in 1998. Yeah, well, couldn't roll away there. Alvin Jones couldn't get away from Bergamasco. 1998. There's uh, Giraldini back on his feet. Just a reminder of having a vote uh, who you think is going to win the Six Nations. You can do it via Twitter or at uh, bbc.co.uk slash rugby union. All the hashtags. Hashtag is we cannot help you. Yeah. So we're back to a full complement of 15 players on both sides. Yeah. Wales just not concerned yet, certainly they've got that, uh, that early try. But uh, things not quite uh, ticking over perfectly at the moment. No, they've got to just be a bit more clinical. What can Italy do? Gori carries it in. And Alessandro oh, Zani. Seven. A bit of space for a, a moment, but carried in by <laughs> Allen. Oh, and penalty this time to Wales. To Lupe Falata with the tackle. Again, the second steal by uh, Falata. Two cracking number eights on display today. Oh. Well, the cleaning kick goes to touch. Ryan Jones, come in with your thoughts, please. It's great urgency there with the turnover from, from Timmy Bay, but you see the urgency with which Mike Phillips and Reese Peterson wanted the ball. Wales will have come into this game determined to keep the tempo high, yeah. ball on the park for as long as they can, to really stress this Italian team. So they won't want to stop in play. You'll see them trying to keep keeping the tempo high in and around set piece and penalties, because it's a way of stressing Italy to the, the, the benefit from later on in the game. Well, crunching tackle come in there and the ball disrupted and George North has to use his speed now but he's seized upon by Esposito. Wonderful defence by Italy. And there's Charteris. Time to release the move! A ferocious start by Italy. Just that one mistake costing them. Stop seven. Half penny long. And taken in. Nicely by Leonardo Sarto. Chase 
Lachlan were running nuts. Did well to get away to Luke McLean. He, did. he runs into Jones and Hibbard. Turn over here, maybe. Yes. Three left. That's a great tackle again. Double tackle. Five. Five. Good play. Could have smashed two players there. A couple of good thumps in this passage of play. But just watch this. Right you can read the feet. play. That's far too obvious. That play is. He just spots the man and nails him. You, know, you can't afford to just show your hand very early on. There was only one one player that ball is going to, and that was Scott Williams. He read it very, very well. Campanaro and just absolutely nailed him. If the dummy runners have got to show a little, a little bit more interest, that they might get the ball and take the defensive runner away from the eventual ball carrier. So no lineouts lost yet, and uh, Wales will have an attacking lineout right on the 22. Oh. Hold on, taken down by Tipperick and it goes to ground, went backwards though. Play on, yeah. It seems to just stop for oh. a moment. Oh. A good counter drive again, they've slowed it down. No, it's available. Phillips has to dig and there is Fanatao. Oh. Christland. Oh. Roberts was in the middle again. Hibbert. Very impressive ball carrier. Hold. Alan Wynn Jones uh, looking for the one pass. Time to release that's the what ball. Do. Spread the defence a little okay. bit. Where it goes now, and there is Jimmy Roberts. Still going. It's a very good tackle by Gori, had to be made. He's looking at this Italian defence. Really being tested now. Yeah. And the cutter is coming in with the crash ball. Couldn't quite get to him. What can Jimmy Roberts do with this? Sato and Bergamasco are there. Use it! Chanteris. No, shovels it on. It's on. George North has to put outside in Fanta. North himself oh, yes. Alan Wynn Jones. The space disappears though. Into touch he goes. That's a very, very good defence by the Italians. Oh. You know, I don't think we're the get over the gain line enough yet they're going right very early and the Italians are really defending well I mean, look at this it's a stronger defence they've got caught Campanaro makes it again he's been very very strong defensively Campanaro gets across makes a tackle on George North only win into touch I think they've got to try and just get Cuthbert and George North into the game a little bit. As I said, the Italian Hi, backs aren't the biggest international back line, and um, I think just a few deep guys and throw the, the two wingers into midfield. A short line out, defensive line out for Italy has to work. Just <laughs> does Gori, has it? That ball would have been a long Hi, time in the air for Gori there. Go. Go so quarter of the match Use gone, it. four points the difference. Farise shovels it on to Giraldini. He's struggling, Rock Giraldini, quiz. from that hit he put on. Uh, I think he was hit bad early on. Use it, nine. Yeah. So he's down yeah. a moment ago again. It's dangerous play, the Italians there. They're trying to make it easier Rock. for the clearing kick. Trying to get Gori into position. Just. Just. Yeah. The one thing about Gori, uh, Andrew, he takes one or two steps while clearing the ball. He is susceptible to a charge down, so he's got to try and clear it. But not taking any steps. Just to look at the action areas at the Step moment. In, no. well, yes. A chunk of it happening in the Welsh yeah. half, but the last couple of minutes certainly in this. Here, here, well, there's a little bit of a stutter in the throw from Hibbard. At five. Stop. At five. Mm. Yeah. He also seemed to have stepped in. Yeah, that five. Field a bit five before, wasn't sure of his throw. Yeah. Now, a long bind. One head and shoulders up, letting so gives the scrum to Italy. Yes, come in closer, please. Uh, yeah. Come in closer. I think Ryan was, uh, you know, we're saying that he's trying to keep the ball in play and try and keep the tempo to tire the Italians out. But unfortunately, they're making a few mistakes and giving a few, a few penalties away. 
And then when the Italians have got the ball, they're dictating the pace of the game, which, uh, which Wales, Wales don't want to happen. Stand up. Stand up. Don't come up on the scrum and come this side. Let's go. But they'll be happy. 22 minutes gone on, Drew. And, uh, you know, only four, four points behind. They will be happy. Eight. Yes, if you're joining us a little bit late, it Josh. was... Uh, it was a freebie for Alex Cuthbert. It was a good move that led Mind. up to it, but a no mistake by Esposito on the wing that let Alex Cuthbert in for the only try of the game so far. And then it goes again. Penalty to Italy. He's playing four games again. Yeah, same. Mm. He's down again. Well, Scott 115. Yeah. Mm. Very difficult to call that, isn't it? Which one goes down first? Hence my non-committal noise. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It gives Luke McLean the chance to clear. It's another good clearing kick as well from the fullback, Australian-born fullback. A uh, very interesting game so far because there was that very, very bright start by Wales, but Italy have been more than equal to so far since then. I think Wales have got to be a little bit more direct. Carry the balls, commit players around the rock area, then go wide. They're going wide a little bit early. And the scramble defence is our drift defence. Italian drift defence coping very well. In the short line, it's slapped yeah. back by Bortolami. Parisi waiting in midfield. McLean coming into the line, a little chip yeah. through from the fullback. Yeah, I think, I think he shinned that. That's a. Uh, that's uh, the white pigment in his hair, he's not prematurely greying. Had a good chance there, actually, but we're going to straighter kick or kept hold of the ball, but it gives Wales the, Take it on the, mark, first of all. the line out. OK, and I'll get the space for you. Blue! Blue, move! It's a very canny Italian line out. Those players in here are... Okay. Seen a few lineouts and know how to disrupt. Yes. That one taken cleanly enough by Alan Wynne Jones, though. Falatau. Phillips is long down the middle. And McLean Stop. sees a bit of space. That could be a great kick. Oh, it is a beautiful kick. Just took one little hop in field and out she goes. Well done, the Silver Fox. Did you watch Burger Mask in the middle of your screen, just pointing where to kick? Maybe you saw that from his uh, scrum half days. Oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> what, what scrum <laughs> half days they were. Or a scrum half day. <laughs> half a day. It's that game against England. <laughs> yeah. Malice decision. Extraordinary. Oh. Hibbert, good line out by Wales. Oof. You've got to get with Toby Fallot out. You know, he's and on his own there, he's exposed. Just take a defender off him. Good oh, chase. Oh, stop, stop. stop. Well, he just got that away. Esposito waits. Great chase. There's Luke McLean. Good hit oh. bad again. This is bright enough play, though, by Italy. Good hands by Castro Giovanni to Zani. There's Allen. Good Deeper, take, ugly yeah. pass. Well taken by Scarvey. And there is uh, Sato. Gori, penalty to Wales. Oh, yeah, he went early. 12 offside. Scarby, just watch it. Head of the kicker, 12. Just, just watch a replay. It's a good, it's, a it's a good call, really. Whoever called it, they saw Cuthbert in the ruck. Just watch, he's miles offside. Absolutely miles offside. He's like an American footballer. Priestland trying to kick that off the outside of the boot to give him the angle. It's a very good cleaning kick. Carlo Del Fava down there with his thoughts. A bright enough start by Italy, Carlo. Yes, they have. I mean, I think um, besides, uh, besides the early try that they've led in, they've made a good recovery. Um, they seem to be putting a lot of pressure on, uh, on the kickers. Um, the intensity at the breakdown and the tackle area has increased. Um, and they're getting a few turnovers. Um, so they, they need to keep that intensity up and that cohesion in the defence line in order to, uh, to keep the Welsh attack at bay. We do the crowd here trying to lift the intensity of the Welsh side. Oh, and it's a, a mistake, but uh, 
Middle. There was a Push. bit of interference yeah. there. And penalty to Wales and a very kickable one. Half penny is scuttling forward. Parise, watch number 11, number 8. Parise pushes and then steps out, hoping not to be seen. Get the head and shoulders up. There's Bergamasco. Up Marco Bergamasco, the younger brother, is back in the squad as well. He was out for a long yeah. time with an injured kneecap. Very, very good. 27 minutes, you know, first. Real kickable penalty. Discipline has been good. You know, in, the, in their own halves. Certainly slapping the opposition halves. Maybe that's why not one side has got momentum, attacking momentum. So all those hours practicing his kicks. And so far it's worked. A very good conversion landed. Just to give Wales another three points. And despite the slip, the ball goes through, and Wales have ten points and a seven-point lead. I remember Diego Dominguez, the great Italian fly half, slipping a couple of times and still the ball went over into half penny. Managed it there. So Alan gets his underway again. And Charteris takes it down. Well, the kick nearly works very well for George North coming forward. Left one, blue, option. Line out option. When you're focusing on catching the ball, you don't want to see out the corner of your eye. George North coming Scrummer in. Scrummer line out. No, oh, he just fell off. Scrummer good, line he? out option. Esposito, there's the slip. Right as he takes out. it. Sorry. Okay. He still does exceptionally well no, to no, nail that kick first. after slipping. Yeah, first knock on. It's knock on by Red Boys. You Interesting run. that uh, you know, they do a cross kick from uh, first phase. I'll watch the Again, I'd like to see half penny, you shoulder. know, cut the line outside oh, Scott Williams. Put your shoulder open. Crouch! Yeah. Well, that's not a good scrum. Bind! Set! Set! Set. Set. Hold! Yeah. Early yeah, push. Free kick Wales. Early, Early. push by Italy. So Lydia carries it on. Half an hour gone, seven minutes, seven points in it. And Scott Williams just yeah. loves it out now. Alex Cuthbert tries to get round Scar, but gets the kick away. Back there is Luke McLean. Scott Williams around him. Out goes the ball. Wales will have the attacking position. Good play, got him on the outside. Pushing early. And that's the position that Wales have now. And for he just stressing again that it was pushing early that cost Italy that scrum. And the Welsh forwards having decided what to do with this line out. Stroll forward. But again, long this time, Tipperick takes it down, tries to get it down. Use it nine. Good drive up the middle. That's what you have to do. The spreading defensively. So here they come, more, more direct approach now for Wales. And then it goes wide, looking for that second try. Turnover is good. Turnover brilliant. Over. I think it's the winger again. And I think it was Sato. What is it? Nine. I think it was great, great turnover. 11 on his feet. Just a reminder, our vote for who do you think is going to win the Six Nations via Twitter and uh, email is now closed. Yeah. 
You're moving forward. So Italy with the penalty, McLean with the clearing kick. He's giving these a good old boot today, nearly up to the halfway line. Yeah. Just watch, you know, this is what yep. the words have got to do. They've got to hold 13. At that occasion, they all came in and the pass was, they've always got the extra man, they've just got to try and, you know, pick the right runner. On that occasion, they did. But they can hold, if they can hold 13, who's drifting well, Campanaro, well, then they'll hold the wingers as well. But Campanaro is drifting very well, scrambling very well defensively. Bortolami is the go-to man in the line-out for Italy, gets it back to... Another old campaigner, Mauro Bergamasco. No. On size. And Gori sends it high. Parisi trying to get there. Well done. Tipperick. Well, there's going to be a little knock on there oh, from well, Wales, so scrum to Italy. They're competing very well, putting pressure. All the kicks, they're chasing. As Carlo said, they're chasing absolutely everything. Not giving the Welsh players time on the ball or time to take the high ball. Oh, looks like a hefty fall for George North, but he's fine. It's a bit of a fight for me as well. I want to kill until the ball goes in. I want to kill until the ball goes in. The scrum is fine. Good players officiating today. John Lace is there and uh, Glenn Jackson is running the running touch as well. Kiwi used to play for Saracens and they have plenty. I'm trying to encourage ex-players to get into refereeing. And then the current players will stop moaning. Let's go. Time on. It's another career, isn't it? Let's go out. I can see you down there. Before the ball. Yeah, I've, yeah, spoken, I've spoken to them. Do you think I am down there? I think it's not easy low end. Six minutes to go in this first half and just seven Crouch. points. The difference is that converted try. Bind. Within the first four Set. minutes of the match. Down goes the scrum again, and well, the referee just wants to let this yeah, one go. Leave it go, please. So Alan to Alberto Scarby, he's got plenty of strength in midfield. Yeah, well, he's going to take it on because it plays in front of him. Crossfield kick now, Parise waiting out there. Parise against George North, and oh, it bounces loose. How did it go loose? There, Parise over the line. Is this to be a try? Right. Does, it's a very, very well executed move. He is still out there. Purely because of that. He's not celebrating. Let's see who gets a hand on it. No, he doesn't think he scored. He's going back with a scrum. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, John. Can you check and see is there a blue lock on, please? Ian Ramage is the Left official. hand. Parise's left hand gets to the ball. That is a knock on. Just checking, John. Yes. There you go. Yeah, there's a knock on blue there. Yeah, clear knock on the John. Yeah, fair play. Sergio Perez, but Sergio Perez, class, Last classy player, classy man, just walked back to the scrimmage. That now gets uh, Jacques Brunel, but it's, uh, it was a good move and it's a good position still for Italy. Welsh scrum. It's the first, uh, first scrum, I think. Pressure, pressure scrum. The well, scrums have been a sort of lottery so far, so Wales just want a good solid defender one, get that ball away. It's good scrum, Wales. Deep it goes, and the clearing kick from Priestland is effective. Esposito takes it well. And here comes the winger. Met well by Tipperick and Lydiat. Gori. There's a bit of zip about this Italian side there. Yeah, it is. It dashed forward. Ball went loose, so Paris say the whistle will bring them back. Well, they're getting close. Definitely more zip. Looking to play a little bit more football. I think Gori is having a very, very good game. He's very sharp. Just watch this. Zani unlucky because the pop pass was on. Time off, please. That's a very did good that, back roll. Yeah, did that come off uh, Paul James though? There we are, these are the big hits. There's one big hit by George. Yeah. Runs hard, that's when uh, Geraldini got injured, I think. 
But then he's, I think he's had a very Time good game. Campanaro. Time on. Better than last time. Better. Let's go, Blue. Castro Giovanni enjoying the tussle. Wales looked at this and thought this is a nice game to ease us into the championship. It's certainly not that so far. We're talking about potential points difference at the end of the championship as well and how to bolster that with a, a big win here today. And this time the Three, scrum ends up. with a penalty to Wales and uh, Castro Giovanni used to driving up there in the front row. Three angle driving up. Yeah, driving up. <laughs> well, I just First two against Paul James, next two against the Italian front row. Well, spares Wales here and Priestland. He's Three. given that a, a huge Three. boot. It's a good kick. Last uh, attacking opportunity for Wales. Be good to get a try for them, just to give them a little bit of breathing space. But the Italians, I think, will be very happy with this uh, with this score at half time. As I said, after that uh, mistake, which allowed Wales to score the first try, he'll be happy for now. And the lineup a little bit loose again, so a bit deeper than the. Wales attack and Roberts is through this time he's got support outside for Williams and try. Williams will score for Wales second try simple the hole created by Jamie Roberts and the try finished by Scott Williams that's a good try for Wales but a body blow for the Italians just before half time and it, I think this is a missed tackle good support played by Scott Williams he's on form Again, not the best line out. And it's just that angle, he drifts far, a little bit too early. Drifts too early, good support by inside. I think it's Scarby, isn't it, who drifts too early. Just goes, just goes. Yeah, he's gone too early, shows too much on the inside for Jamie Roberts. Too big, the angle's too good. And then very good support by Scott Williams. Well, it's going to be a try at the start and a try at the end of this first half, which is the difference between these sides at the moment and the timing rather cruel for Italy no, no, no. but the defence was not up to it just drifted a little bit too early there Andre that's all he did and the angle beat him and the conversion is good from Lee Halfpenny and Wales are two converted tries in front a smile appears yeah could have been just watch him, he goes, he goes, he goes, he just goes too early, shows in the inside, he's too big, too powerful, good support there by Scott Williams, try. So just 30 seconds remaining. I don't need to try and salvage something else, but Wales keep hold of this. And it defended well, the Italian back line. But again, just one missed tackle. Try. Priestland. Parise. A good play, Parise. Right side of the hand to Allen. Clock will go red. Final passage of play. Oh, Campagnaro hangs on to it and he's got some pace. Campagnaro will kick in field for Esposito to try and get there. A touchdown, though, from Priestland will bring this half to an end. And uh, another nice touch from Italy. They have threatened at times, but doesn't come to anything. And the two tries the difference. Yeah, I think it's you know, not much in it, it's just uh, the mistake and then that try at the end. The game has been quite quite even, the Italian have had better territory. I think Wales will have to pick the tempo in the second half, I think I think that's what they want to do. They'll, they'll have to carry the ball a little bit more and just take it, tie the inside defence in and then go wide a little bit later. But, you know, very comfortable for Wales with that late try by Scott Williams. Didn't take much to create a couple of tries there for Cuthbert for Scott Williams. 17 3 Wales lead at half time. That's the difference. 14 points. I think our poll shows that perhaps we don't have too many people watching in France. Yeah. 6%. But Wales are off to a decent start so far. 
And again, it's all about building momentum. You, you can't afford to make too slow a start, although Wales did that last year. Yes. Going yeah. for three in a row. Excellent. Hasn't been done. Hasn't been won outright three years in a row. A, lot, a few sides have won it yeah. twice and then tied for first place. I was talking to Carlo in, uh, before the match, and uh, he was saying that all the exit kicks are done by the Italian scrum half. Well, I don't understand Stay why, because he's he's made about four or five kicks now and only gone 20 yards, so they've under pressure, long kick off, and they're regaining the ball, you know? Well, it eventually comes back to Wales and, and North. No changes to either side at half time. And Wales with Stay. the first chance to make an assault here. No. Charteris. Falatau. Lupe Falatau. Paul James. And Priestland. The hand typically goes to Williams out to a half penny. It's a good tackle, but the Moscow had to be made. That's what I'd like to see half penny hitting it more often. He's got, you know, great pace. Very dangerous in that channel. Alan Wynn Jones. Push five. Remember Sam Warburton waiting on the bench. Still not quite match fit after that shoulder injury. That's a good back row to try and get back into for Warburton. Tutterick's been impressive so far. There's Priestland again. Advantage. Ball lost forward. Advantage over. There's Campagnaro. Very wide to Sato, and the winner chasing this down with Campagnaro, if he can hack it on and chase it down himself, it's going to be a try for Campagnaro! That's a very, very good try, good move, give it a little bit of width, an excellent kick, excellent kick for Sato, and that's exactly what they wanted. I just wonder if there was a hint of a forward pass earlier on. Campagnaro to Sarto. Mm. So we are going to the TMO. Ian Ramage is going to have a look at this. Mm. Here, what John Lacey asked to see. And I think if you look at this in slow mo, you may well see that forward pass. Forward by his hands straight away, unfortunately, because it's a great finish. A great finish. Well, well forward. There's nothing, yeah, there's nothing on from there. Just checking this pass. Oh, it's, it's, it's such a difficult one. I, it, it's whether his hands going forward or not. I think the pass is going forward. It's forward. It's a tight one. Forward pass is much in the news at yeah. the moment. Well, Glenn, Jack Glenn Jackson's right near him. Yeah, that's forward. It's a forward pass. Again, according to the letter of the law, this is the grounding was fine, Michele Campagnaro getting down there. It's his pass. Well, yes, John, I've, are you okay with that? I've got a decision for you. Yes. You may award the try. Well, well, well. <laughs> try for Italy for Campagnaro, his pass. Not ruled to have been forward. Again, we stress it's in the rule book. It's all about where the, where the hands go in the pass. Yeah. There's the turnover by Priestland. That's very good play again. They go wide straight away. They didn't look to, cut, to kick. They go wide. And it's an, it's an exceptional finish and a very, very good try by the Italians. I think Campanaro has played exceptionally well. We'll have another look at that pass again in a moment, but uh, the end result is it's been a judge by Ian Ramage not to have been forward. Tommaso Allen. Just mm. pulled it. But a good start to the second half for Italy. Again, much in the news at the moment because they're saying the rule is... There's the pass. There's the do kick. the hands go forward? Yeah, it's a very, very good kick. And the pace of Campanaro and the control of the kick. That's a very good try. Very good try. A lot of people say a forward pass, it should go back to being a forward pass as a ball that goes forward, irrespective of the momentum carrying the ball forward. But the laws as they stand, a bit of crossing interference there from Italy, so it's going to be a penalty for Wales. 
obstruction number one. Yeah. Michele Rizzo obstructing. So a bit of a pop at goal for Wales. We're going to have the thoughts from uh, Carol Del Favre. Right, that here. bright start by Italy. I know, John. I think it's a fan fantastic way. One. They just kept kept the ball in hand um, on the turnover. Normally, in the past, you'd see Italy make one pass, kick that ball down the field, and that would be the end of possession. Um, just shows you that their, their thoughts of actually trying to get down the pitch and score some points. Well worked try. He did everything right. Um, chip kick on the last defender to regather and um, use his pace to score the try. Let's put Carlo on the spot. Forward pass, Carlo, or not? Uh, <laughs> tough one. <laughs> <laughs> the pause is enough, it's, Carlo. It's, the it's, pause it's, is enough. <laughs> it's never going to be forward, I don't think. <laughs> There we go. The try was given, but a chance for Lee Halfpenny to take Wales to 20 points. Oh, well, he hooks it. Nine points it remains. A rare miss from his his favoured side. Yeah, he snatched that a little bit. Just uh, pulled it. I would always be a bit put off by the looming spectre of um, Neil Jenkins just hovering behind you now. Yeah. One one of the game's greatest kickers, if not the greatest. Open the debate. I noticed that uh, Lee Halfpenny has now passed James Hook. He's third in the all-time point score, but a long way behind Neil Jenkins and indeed yeah. Stephen Jones. I think it'd be interesting to see. Um, you know, we mentioned Hook there. Is it worth giving Hook uh, a little run in this game at number ten to see how he how he goes? Paul James. Faster, faster. And then Jones. Falatau in midfield. He carries the ball a lot, doesn't he, Falatau? Small! He's kept up, though. Things got him up there. That's a turnover ball, that is. Yeah, yeah it's good work by the Italian defence. Just watch where Falatau goes. Parise also goes. But he usually carries the ball because he's got such good feet. You know, he can step and get, a, get through the, the tackle. But on that occasion, they, they surround him. That's why I feel sometimes you need a runner with him. Just, just, just take a runner on his shoulder and take one of the defenders away. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. The tackles that have had to be made in five missed tackles for Italy, one of them very, very important as Scalby missed Jamie Roberts and Scott Williams was in for the second try. Coach! Find! Set. Scrum wheels round. It's a very good scrum by Wales. Very good scrum. First two scrums of the match went against them with Paul James collapsing. They've really turned it round now. Very dominant in the scrum. The Italian scrum is not what it once was. No, it's not. Yeah, that was the, the platform of, all, of their game, their forward power. But that's why they're trying to. You know, change their style a little bit. I think Gori was a significant Coach. part to play in that the scrum half. Good attacking Point. position for Wales. Set. Oh, good response by Italy. Oh, <laughs> good response. <laughs> not what it was, the Italian scrum, is it? No, no, definitely not. Oh, destroyed the Welsh scrum there. I think they're still resting on the laurels of the previous scrum. And straight through them, earned the penalty. Allen's kick good is kick. a very, very good touch find up. After that try, the tails will be up. They've got good field position once again. Just a little bit of a murmur around the stadium at the moment. Nine oh, points. I'm quiet. They wanted to see. Two tries to one. Italy in good position. Giraldini. Again, Bortolami. That's one line! 
And one go at the mall there. And a hand is out from John Lacey. Penalty coming to Italy. Kick this. Definitely go for goal, yeah. Which they're doing, just saying coming in at the side, walking round the, the side there, not coming in through the proper channels. Well, he won't be happy with the uh, second half performance. Another chance for Tommaso Allen. Revolving door to fly halves for Italy after Diego Dominguez, yeah. who is a, a rich source of points, great kicker. And one of these 20 year olds in the Italian back line. A chance to get Italy within six points. Yeah. It was always drifting. He's hooked a couple now. Yeah, too bad, really. Kicks. He's got to aim for the far right upright. If he's going to bend it in right to left, he's got to aim it at the, at the right upright. Just watch, he's aiming at the, you know, not, not far enough right with the pull. In that narrow defeat against Argentina in November 1914, they lost, he missed four penalties. He's no Dominguez yet in that, in that department. Half an hour to go. And a couple of chances squandered with the boots by Italy. Still there, bright and bustle the Italians. Certainly got a bit of something about them today. Not held, and Zani keeps going and offloads well. That's taken on by Helden House. Here's Giraldini. Good play. Castro Giovanni. Touch a move! Certainly looking to offload the Italians. It's usually ball at the jumper and, uh, and head down. Straight through the middle, but uh, a leap Five into moves. the. The figure of Hibbard, but Italy still with the ball, and it's, it's a decent pace of ball as well. Just held in house again. He's, Allen. He's done well, Allen, because I thought he was on his own. His ch chances on, pass. Oh, great defence, Scott Williams. The pass was on. They had numbers on the left hand side. There's a Rizzo, the loose head prop, who he took it in. And there's a tight head, Castro Giovanni. Off feet now. There's Leonardo Sato in off the left wing. Yeah, trying to get the uh, fast little wingers in and up against the, the forwards near the pillars of the, the ruck. Inside to Sato from Bortolami. It's good pressure by the Italians. Need to, need to keep the composure, that's all they are. Slowly going forward, making inroads into the West defence. Only hit, but really smashing defensively. Here comes the noise of the Millennium Stadium trying to rouse the Welsh defence, which is pretty good so far. Italy trying every offload at the moment. Wide it goes now. There's Alberto Scarby. Oh, and as it always has, it just... Just run out of patience. That's the turnover. They need a spark, no wheels. They need someone to either do a run, a big hit, or something. Just a spark this side is a little bit flat in the stadium. And the Italians are playing exceptionally well, controlling the tempo of the game. Bergamasco, though, should know better. All his experience going in off his feet there. Penalty to Wales. A couple of players getting a bit of treatment as well. Yeah, actually, they, you know, they do make changes and... Impact from the bench. Priestland's kick this time doesn't make too much ground. Just a look at the fixtures to come for both sides. Wales, of course, away to Ireland next up. I'm talking about that. Then home to France, away to England, home to Scotland. Italy away to France next Sunday, then home to Scotland, away to Ireland. Hold. Finish off at home. Against England. Tough start. Oh, great ball, Falata. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. It's just get a runner on him. A yeah, very tough start for Italy away to France. <laughs> Sunday. 
without much of a chance. Ball loose on Sato now. He's got Parisi inside. Oh, and the ball doesn't go to him. Goes instead to Priestland. Now can Wales attack Hibbard? It's loose. The game opens up just a fraction. Lydiate. Away three. Advantage. And uh, Giraldini offside trying to take Priestland, so Wales have the advantage. Still advantage. Luke McLean is so deep, the chip is on. So this kick will go to McLean, but he'll come back for that penalty. Two offside, no advantage. I think there's one thing Priestland has got to look at. Defensive line no is working exceptionally hard, good line speed by the Italians. But Luke McLean is defending so deep and there's not a sweeper. So there's an opportunity for a grubber or a chip behind the Italian defensive line. Very unfortunate there, Zabi. I thought he might have kicked on at a foot race. It's got time. Good interception by Priestland. Well read. A lot of the Italian backline are taking their chance well because a lot of it, big Italian players are missing. Andre Mazzi, Gonzalo Canali, uh, Venditti as well. I think Campanaro has been exceptional. Tommaso Benvenuti out injured. But a good position here for Wales. Still far from put this game to bed. Tipperick once more. The man at the back. Now a bit of space. Cuthbert. Charteris. Makes some good ground. He's an idiot. Good, oh, good step from Priestland. He's in. still going on. Priestland might go all the way. Reese Priestland gets it in field. The ball is loose and oh, out. It goes Charteris. It was at your feet. Great play from Reese Priestland for a moment. He was Phil Bennett. I thought he was away. Once he steps out and once he fends, I thought he was in. Once the fend was there and he gets away, but McLean does exceptionally well, hangs on to him, inside ball. Great step, slow dummy, step, has the fend, and he's away. Stop at 22, let's have a look, ball goes back inside. Yep, Luchas just gets his big foot to it. Not though 22. A change made by Italy. Alberto Di Marchi yes, has come on in the front row. That's a loose head prop for Michele Rizzo. Restart and Cuthbert has it. Here's Falatau. Falatau breaks the tackle two offloads to Tipperick. Just a couple of tackles being missed yes. by Italy now. Jamie Roberts. Not enough space there, actually. Rock! But Will straight on to the attack again. Alan Wynne Jones. Police doctor! Adam Jones comes in to play scrum half. Lydia is the link in the good good hands from Williams and on to Halfpenny and Tipperick and Cuthbert slaps the tackle again. Keeps it alive and North tries to give it in field, but. Counter attack. Giraldini. <laughs> Hibbard again nails him. Hibbard and Giraldini have enjoyed their meeting today. Penalty to Italy. Wales off the feet. Stay on the feet, please, six. Yeah, you're right. Starting to fall off tackles now. Opportunities. Tip break. This is it. Desperate tackle. Desperate tackle. Cuthbert just gets inside. Parise just gets to him. Well, Italy needs some good field position. Off, please. And uh, Italy about to make another change. Uh, Giraldini is going to go for. He's done well, really. Good idea. You need to last this long because he took a big hit. Well, there's a Davide Giazzone coming on for Giraldini, who's 
Well, he's taken some big hits from uh, Hibbard in particular. You saw that Wales are waiting to make a change as well. Seven. Imagine if you comes off. Red four. Mm. Chatworth goes off. Combs comes on. Another change as well. Fergus Maslow goes off. So changes happening all over the place. There is Coombs coming on for Nick Charteris in the second row. And uh, Mauro Bergamasco. And Minto is now. I like Minto. Yeah, Francesco Minto is on in the back row for Italy. And there is newish prop, Alberto Di Marchi. I just sense that a few fresh legs were required. Certainly a lot sharper, aren't they? Italians. But for that very hard start to the championship again, a stress away to France their next tough. match. This game is certainly far from beyond them at the moment. The Nine points the difference. Little chip from Tommaso Allen. Well played. It's on. The red by half penny. And the chase back. Leonardo Sato is there and he's just going to watch it, but it's not going to run dead, so has to try and make his way around George oh, North as well. And uh, kicks long, half penny waiting. Chances on the counter attack. Falatau. Oops. The yeah, prettiest okay. pass to Priestland. He kicks between McLean and Parise. Parise says that's going long. That won't go dead, so. Off. I'm just going to say the touch judge is coming into a word. I think if he was talking about that challenge by Paul James on Tommaso Allen much earlier in the move. It reminds you of the other fixtures coming up as well this weekend. France against England, of course. Big game, big game that is. Hmm. 4.30, straight after this one, really. And then Ireland plays Scotland tomorrow, half past two. That's also BBC One HD. So that chat there was, and I think Paul James is going to be brought forward for that. Pastrana. Well, Paul James said, I, I just stood my ground. That's not a penalty. That is. A pathetic penalty by an assistant referee who wants to come on just to be seen on television. Well, it was yeah, Francesco was, Pastrana on the far side who came in. If, you, if you're going to kick a ball in, a, in traffic, you've got to expect you've got to get run round people or take the hit. Not because it's just... I think it's a poor decision. That's a great kick. That's a big decision now when you look at the position. Yep. Paul James immediately afterwards said... There was nothing in that, as he would do, but looking at the replay, the right. time to get out of the way, he didn't, didn't raise his arm. He doesn't need to get out of the way, you know, that's the thing, does he? But the replacement hooker, maybe the Gyatson, has the ball, and Italy have this position. Great position. Oh, Great bracing. take. Oh, wonderful take with the right hand by Paris. One. Italy going backwards at the moment, yeah. good defensive shove from Wales. But uh, coming in field a bit gives options to Italy, a little bit more space. Oh, unlucky chance. Yeah. And uh, Hibbard secures it. Phillips. Advantage over. Advantage Roberts. over. Long way wide to George North. Great tackle. Don't quite take him into touch though. No, one on one. Esposito takes him. A good counter up there by Italy, into touch it goes now. That's very, very good play. Well, it is, I suppose. He's played well since his early mistake, and you think of that seven points, that try, and the difference nine points at the moment into the final 20 minutes. Yeah, half time, 17 3 up, you think, thinking, you know, the Italians could be onto a beating, but they've played exceptionally well in the second half. Hibbard then, line-out throw under pressure. Stop moving, 
Stay on the mark, please. Stay, stay. Stay. Taken down by Alan Jones and Phillips swipes it away. Uh, chance to counter attack. Esposito fumbles, but it went backwards. Oh, and he out. sends it high now. That is a towering kick landing just outside the 22, but Halfpenny does his thing. Hold. Deep to Priestland. Oh. Like half charge down. Who will fall upon it? Castro Giovanni. Gets it away well to Campagnaro. He's like Dino's off then, wasn't he? <laughs> yes. 40 years old and smoking like a chimney. <laughs> Went for no. scrum oh, to Wales. Check for what? This is Campanaro again. He's played well, hasn't he? Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. There he is. I think he's got to get higher trajectory on those kicks. You know, when the chase has been so good by the Italians today. Coach! You know, you've got to give a little bit of on the length. Just make sure you get the height. I think which is... A Really keeping Wales out of touch at the moment. A couple of missed kicks from Allen. Penalty yeah, to Wales. At, at this level, Andrew, you know, early when you driving. get those penalties and cock conversions, you've got to really, penalty. you know, take them. There was one missed kick, of course, by Halfpenny as well. Long kick by Halfpenny. And uh, there is Esposito. He's played well after that um, mistake he did the first couple of minutes. Esposito. Half penny chasing this one down. Parise. Amazing and great players there. And Parise. Only, only one winner there. McLean. There's space back there. Cuthbert is heading back there. He does it to Priestland and three Italian jerseys up there. And Priestland does not too badly. It's Paul James. Hold. They look tired, the worst players, to be honest. McLean. They pride themselves on the fitness wheels, but a couple of players perhaps not match sharp, but coming back from injury. Parisi carries it in and then Gazon. Two move! It's Francesco Minto. It's on the other side. Oh. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's on, still on now. It's still on. The plane. on. There is an overlap. Wide it goes and Campagnaro. Oh, should have stayed outside then. Luke McLean. Offloads well. Kelvin House. Again, the steel isolated. And there he is. Falatau is there again. Ah, here comes Sam. Lydia, do you watch? I think it's Lydia going off, you think? Time off. Well, he's very, very short of, of matches. He hasn't featured since the November Test matches, but Sam Warburton is uh, back with us on for Dan Lydia. Yeah, and with all the political situation in regional. Union rugby, the support for Sam Warburton is clear. Uh, Rodri Jones is on as well in the front row. And one for Adam Jones, a yeah, very talented young prop, Rodri Jones. A couple of them, Samson Lee as well. And Sam Warburton has been out for a while with that shoulder problem. Just feeling uh, need to get something here now. Hold. A little bit of breathing space again. Now 15 minutes to go. So just nine points in it. Roberts that's got before. <laughs> that's a difference when they do pick the tempo up. They look far more dangerous, don't they? Accidental. And an accidental obstruction, so Italy will have the scrum. 
haven't seen too much of it, but just that little extra gear, it does seem to be available to Wales. Yeah. Time off. Nine. Hutton, wait for the It'll ball. It'll make a change in news of that in a moment, but uh, Ryan Jones, what do you make of this? Well, we've just seen a we've seen two we've seen a phase of play there, which I feel sums up uh, Wales' second half at the moment. We've seen a fantastic kick, um, relieving pressure with the penalty. We've had two wonderful phases with two good game lines, and then it's just followed by a mistake. And this has sort of summed up the half for me, and that we haven't been able to get any sustained pressure, which hasn't allowed us to implement and enforce our game and use 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 our big runners get it. Get, maintain that game line, string phase after phase and really stress this Italian team because what we're looking for is we're looking to create a mismatch in defence, we're looking for our high numbers to be played against Italian's low, Italian low numbers, but again, like I said we haven't been able to manufacture that by having enough phases. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen George North or Cuthbert uh, enough with ball in hand, Ryan. Yeah, I agree with you there, Jeff, you know, we see, we see, week in, week out, um, we see uh, George with Northampton, he's used in around the breakdown, and when he, when he has had the ball, he's done very, very well, so it's about up in the tempo and we'll see if we can get some reward, we need to come away from areas of the field like this with points now. Oh, penalty to Wales, and this may quickly put the game to bed, Tobias Botez fresh on the field at scrum half, but uh, Italy not driving straight, Sergio Parisi not happy. Well, it looked like, you know, young um, Rodri Jones then, so, uh, oh, I don't know. Well, John Lacey's interpretation of that scrum was a penalty <laughs> to Wales. It's a very, very difficult job, isn't it? Rough in the scrum. That's what he thinks of it. Half penny though, straight in front of the posts. <laughs> this one fizzes through, and Wales reach 20 points. <laughs> it is all about the victory for for Wales to get them going and that's what they're heading towards so uh, replacement now as uh, Ken Owens comes on for Richard Hibbard and that get us going oh, again good take as Coombs reaching for that one no Priestland's poke I'm not sure why it worked that time, but why do you have to kick the ball 20 yards in the air to try and get possession when you've already got it? You see Reese Webb on at strum half for Wales as well. Had to release three! And Warburton, the link this time, Priestland. That's a better kick, that's a very, very good kick. Beyond Sarto, no time for the quick throw. And Wales into the Italian 22. Right, An extra penalty just gives them that cushion, perhaps, to five. with a, a little bit more Three and five. confidence. A couple of changes waiting for Italy. On come Joshua Furno and Lorenzo Cittadini. Cittadini on the left, and Furno on the right. Cittadini coming on for that man, Castro Giovanni in the front row. And. Uh, Funo is coming on for Bortolami in the second row. Time on. The bench is almost empty now, still on there is Paris. A. Stop 16! And Allen sends it towards Halfpenny. Oh, good play. And gets the ball away to Roberts. Yeah. Backwards. Good to see them, you know, another pass. Oh, no. Oh, interception, and it's going to be a run for the line. It's going to be a try, and it's going to give Italy hope. It's Campagnaro again. Under the
the post, it will be seven points, and the game is still alive. Well, you could see that from here. Up in the in the commentary position, once Lee up and he had the ball, you could see it straight away. The interception was on. He's look, he didn't look. He didn't look. The long, long pass, and his nose. As soon as he throws the ball, Lee Halfpenny knows Campanaro is in. No one was going to get anywhere near this kid. Two tries for 20-year-old Michele Campanaro. He scored a try on his first start against Argentina as well. And there is hope, real hope for Italy, for Jacques Brunel. And this is uh, worrying for Wales. Still ten minutes to go. And just five points in it with a conversion of Tommaso Allen. Italy have only once won away in the Six Nations, beating Scotland. Well, he read that, he read that very well. Only half and he knew as soon as he threw it. It was an intercept. Hasn't he played well, Michele Campagnaro? He has. Esposito. Big ten minutes, this. The Italians... Really, really Stay. confident. Use it! Stand up! Cut the release! What a result this might be for Italy if they could pull something out of that. This would be the greatest result in their history, even with wins against France and Ireland last year. They were at home. This is away against the defending oh. champions. A thump comes in and half an eight, but he will stay strong enough to get that back. They've got to play now, Wales. I'm playing in the right areas. Again. The ball is out, says the referee, and Reese Webb scrag, but he oh. too gets it back. Use it! Alan Wynne Jones. And there's Andrew Coombs, the move. Dragons Touch. captain. You need oh, a penalty, yeah. Uh, Roll away. Go on, it's on. Taken quickly by Reese Webb. Good tap and go by Reese Webb. To put it, gets it to Priestland, and there is Jamie Roberts again. He's on his own, he's on his own. Well done. Scott Williams gets there. And Priestland and Wales coming forward now. I thought they'd won this game with that penalty. But a gift, both sides have had a gift of a try now. Falatau. Very interesting to see where, Luke, watch where Luke McLean is defending the full back. He's defending in the line, so the. They've dropped the winger back and they dropped the scrum half back, advantage. but there's space behind the defensive line for Wales to exploit. Priestland again. There is Warburton. And it's Cuthberts. Oh, oh, all the 16. way back for that penalty. It's a long, long advantage in the Got the kick side. it. Kick for goal. Eight points. Got the kick for goal. Well, it is going to be a proper goal, uh, Carlo Del Fava. It's close. I know. Just be besides that last phase of play, I mean, you literally just piggybacked them down the field, and now you're facing you're facing the threat of three points. Um, but I mean, a fantastic try from Campagnaro. Honestly, absolutely opportunistic. Went for it. It paid off. Used his pace to get over the line, and um, I think the whole afternoon he's been he's been threatening to do something. He's been great in the he's been patient with his ball in hand. I think he really deserved uh, deserved an outcome there. Well, Mauro Bergamasco is back on a blood replacement because Alessandro Zani is he's bleeding. But this, of course, to take Wales beyond a converted score clear. We have to eat. We've missed just one. This is a quite important kick, this. Just to. Uh, Take the game away from the Italians. It's low and it's through. Good from Lee Halfpenny. It may, may be good enough. And that's the difference, you know, when the kick is needed to be slotted. 
you need a guy with a high percentage success rate, and that's what he's done. Of Sergio Parise's side still believe they can do something. We've seen some great comebacks at this famous ground we in have. recent years. We just need to hang on and have a winning start to the championship. Yeah, yeah, just playing oh. the right area now, Wales. Priestland yeah. sends it long, straight down the middle. McLean is there. A bit too far, this, but the chase is very good. And tip it up. So very quickly. Stay there, no. And Butes. Away. It's Mauro Bergamasco. That'd be interesting uh, to see that bit of rookie. Yeah. Good running again from, from Italy. Tommaso Allen. Yeah. Front. Bergamasco. And Parise. And that's just slipping away from Italy now. Eight points. Furno. Well, let it come, no balls available. Still there for Italy, but inside their own half. Five minutes remaining. Paris A. Offloads it to McLean, gets it away to Allen, Campagnaro. Balls available. Use that line! He's held in house for Italy. McLean once more, little poke forward, but oh, it's a fumbled in Furno up there quickly. And George North. Okay. Use that! Get ball away! There's Tipperick, blue shots swarming around him. Good count to Rucking again. Get it out. He just took a step and then slices it. George North is offside, leave it go. I sent the touch straight away. Well, I saw Burger Masco using his feet. Let's see, we couldn't see it this side. Oh, well, he didn't play, he didn't play. Let's have a look at it. He's going for the ball, good. That's not the ball. There's nothing, There's nothing in that. If you're going to put your foot there, you might expect that. That's it, Tommaso Iannone coming on for right, Leonardo right, Sarto. Okay. On the Italian Stay. wing. Oh, three and a half minutes remaining. Eight points. Maybe enough of a buffer and a missed line out as well. And Wales have it. Stay, Captain. Yeah, yeah. Roberts. A little field pass to George North. Tackle release! No, no, Captain! And Priestland goes to ground. Paul James. Hold. A miss by Scott Williams and Tipperick is there. Just a tackle, let it come now, Blue! Just a tackle! No, leave it go! Leave it go! Webb is engulfed. Use it! Another weak strains of bread of heaven around Millennium Stadium. Stop Two and a half minutes stop. remaining, and long it goes from Priestland. Tobias Botez. And Botez kick almost charged down. Yeah. Chance. Falls to Roberts. Move now quickly. There's Williams back into Alan Wynne Jones. Quick ball. Halfpenny tries to stab it through. Falatau and Coombs link. Crossfield kick from Priestland to Campagnaro calls for the mark. Two minutes to go, man of the match time. Well, I'm uh, RBS man of the match. There's the guy on the ball there. Michel Campanaro, I think defensively he's been superb, the drift defence and, uh, and the kicks. I know he's gone down with cramp, but, uh, you know, he's got two lovely, lovely tries, so he's my RBS man of the match. Hibba's been well, but him.
A uh, couple of tries for him. Uh, interception was his second one. And he's got a uh, man of the match cramp. Paul James is off. Thank you very much. That's Yes. Okay. Mm, nearly 67,000 in here today. A decent showing, to say the least. I'll take 15. Tipperick takes it down and heading towards the final minutes. The victory is coming for Wales, but a lot to be said for Italy's performance today and what might have been. No, scrum to Italy. Yeah, and I think uh, you know Ryan. Ryan's comments. It's just halfway into the second half. Yeah, there's just been far too many mistakes. You know, they they haven't built the pressure and built the phases. You know, to, to create opportunities, and um, they'll have to do yeah. a lot better against Ireland next week. I see the stadium announcement that Michele Campagnaro is man of the match, and he was met with a real approval around the yeah, match, stadium. Yeah. Delighted with that. <laughs> Get any stick. Right, what do we make of this performance as we have this final breakdown? Jonathan, not just for Wales, but for Italy as well, and the uh, matches I, to come. I think the Italians have played exceptionally well. You know, there's definite. Uh, tempo and pace and a little bit more creativity from midfield you know they've missed those crucial kicks which uh, could have uh, pulled them you know closer into the tie but those three there will be happy with the result but not with the performance you know it's the first start it's a, I think it's a sluggish performance um, you know didn't haven't created a lot of opportunities they've played very similar to what they have done in previous years but it's just you know they, but they've, they've been successful and um, it's up for teams to, uh, to try and beat them no, no, when they are playing like that, but I'd like to see a little bit more creativity. But if they cut the mistakes out, you know, the Wales will improve. Two tries apiece, two tries in the first half for Wales, two in the second for Italy. Scrum goes down again. That's been another unsatisfactory part of the game. That might be an end of things now. The clock goes red. John Lacey getting an instruction there, I think. Discipline. Let's get our shoulders up, boys. We're going to have this scrum. So the final ball is Italy's Gutes feeds Parisi, plays a bit of football, advantage to Italy, they have the penalty and away he goes their captain. Carried on now by Francesco Minto. Crash ball. Just about repelled by the Welsh defence. Here's Josh Furno, Biarritz, second row. Advantage. Advantage, red knock on. Yeah, another advantage, certainly. Knock on it is, so. No hands, no captain. You can play it, no knock advantage on. over. Mm. Oof. Good thump coming in on uh, Tommaso Iannone. Turnover is good. Ball, go wide, two passes, it's on. Well, they could run it out or they could score a try. Cut, but no. Wales keep it alive, they want to take a little Hunter's bit more release. from this game. Jamie Roberts down injured at the moment in this final passage of play. Priestland sends it cross field. Fumno waiting on the far side for Italy. Oh, and the ball goes loose, but then a little tap on from George North. And that will be the end yeah. of things. A look at the clock, a blast and the whistle from John Lacey and a victory to open the defence of their Six Nations campaign for Wales, but again, not the whole story. It is a window. Yeah, um, you know, you have to get off to a good start, and that means winning. That's the that's the most important thing. They won't be happy with their performance. You know, it'll be it was a bit sluggish, a bit scrappy, and just far too many mistakes, which you know didn't you know give them momentum and build pressure. So, um, but. A big, big, you know, good win for Wales to start, but they know there is a big, big test 
in Dublin next week for them and they will have to raise their game. Italians, a very, very good performance and I think they've, they've improved on their performances from last year. You know, and I'll give them confidence going into France, but a very tough game in France for them. Yes, yeah, so a reminder of the fixtures, uh, Italy away to France, then home to Scotland, away to Ireland, home to England, Wales that match, away to Ireland, then home to France, away to England at home against Scotland to finish things off, but uh, a couple of tries apiece here, and we did think at half-time that, that Wales were going to move away. Yeah, I think the first try at half-time would, uh, would have been crucial, if, especially if Wales would have got it, but just that try got them back into the game, and they hang on in there, as they always, always do, the Italians. So there we are, a couple of tries in the first half for Wales, for Cuthbert and Scott Williams, but two for Michele Campagnara in the second half. It was close. Wales, 23, Italy, 15. So Wales get the win, an entirely different atmosphere to what it was like here 12 months ago, Ryan, because after getting thumped by Ireland, the fans weren't happy, Warren Gatlin wasn't happy. It's a win, that's the most important thing, as Jonathan says, but knowing Warren Gatlin, knowing that squad, and how tight it is, and how honest it is, what will be the general assessment? Well, the boys will be highly critical of it now. As, as they are, win or lose, yeah. you know. The, the, we've got to remember as well, we came into this competition with the goal of winning five from five. It's one down, we tick it off. That's the major positive, that's the only stat that ever counts. So we've got to, we've got to look at it now over the next, few week, uh, next week, and like you say, we've, got, we've certainly got to up the game, up the tempo, and be more and more clinical next weekend. OK, well, let's hear then from the man of the match, Michele Campagnaro. He's with Ross. Yes, Michele Campagnaro joins me now. Many congratulations on your man of the match award. Two tries today. Do you feel that's a game you could have won? Yeah, uh, it's a big emotion. Play here is uh, a dream of one life for me. And uh, it's a big emotion. I'm so very happy. I... I don't know. I, my English is a little bad, sorry. You're doing very well so far. It was a, a tough, attritional game. Italy didn't have the best autumn. Will this give you faith now going into the rest of your campaign? Yeah, it's, um, it was a, a, difficult, a difficult match. The Wales is a big team and uh, I hope uh, we, we, we improve and we better uh, the uh, next time. OK, all the very best of luck. Thank you. And Jamie Roberts joins me now. Congratulations, Jamie. A hard-fought victory, I guess. Relief is the overwhelming emotion. Yes, uh, obviously, you know, to win is, is what international rugby is about, but uh, we certainly made it hard for ourselves. I think the, uh, the two tries, Italy scored. Obviously, one's an interception, one's a turnover. So, uh, you know, we've got to tighten up those mistakes in our game. And certainly, we do them against Ireland next week. We'll lose the match. So. This week, massive focus on you know retaining the ball and uh, no silly mistakes. Ryan Jones made a, a point in commentary, perhaps just not enough sustained pressure, some flashes of danger, but just not anything sustained today. Yeah, true. You know, we'd go through the phases, attacking well, you know, really making some good yards, then you know, silly turnovers, maybe kicking the ball away. Uh, you know, everyone's guilty of it, and we just have to look at ourselves in training this week and. Uh, cut up the errors. I think we showed some good rugby at times, the intensity we brought to the game. Certainly first matchup is very hard on the lungs and legs, but uh, we've worked very hard the last few weeks and, and we want to take that into the game. Okay, good luck next week. Top man, thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers.